Hi, you winners, and happy Thanksgiving! So, I know not all of you celebrate Thanksgiving, and not all of you are in America, it's primarily an American custom, but I figure, just for those of you that do celebrate it, or, you know, the the happy side of it, of being thankful and using it as a positive way to look at life, I decided to make a video and say what I'm grateful for instead of doing like a playthrough or anything like that since I know a lot of people are with their families anyway or, or at least a wide variety and range of my subscriber base most of you are US so I figured I'd just do this as a thankful video and then also you guys go ahead put in the comments say what you're thankful for if you want to otherwise just say what you're doing today if you if you guys are just hanging out at home and eating ice cream good for you because I wish I could be doing that but I also be eating turkey food so I guess I'm not that <laughs> against Thanksgiving because I get a lot of delicious food but I just wanted to and it's always good to say what you're thankful for and I always think that's a good thing to do because it reminds you of how much you have and so if you guys could even if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving even if you aren't in America go ahead put what you're thankful for in the comments I think it's always a good practice to do so I will say what I am thankful for for this year um, it's a wide range and I'm probably forgetting a lot of what I'm thankful for but these are just broad general terms of things that I'm thankful for instead of getting into specifics but the first thing and it's not in any particular order but the first thing that I'm thankful for is you guys you winners thank you so much for all that you do all the commenting all the watching all the interaction you guys have with me the fact that some of you will follow me over to twitch and stay on youtube or what have you whatever you prefer to watch me on a lot of you are so supportive and on all my videos i know if you guys are winners because the comments are really positive or you know actually critiquing on what's going on in the game or are somewhat supportive in one way or another or just super happy um i know when a troll's a troll because it's clearly not you guys <laughs> and i really love that i love the community that we have like i said like that video that i posted a couple weeks ago got no negative comments whatsoever and i was really impressed with that especially with the situation that we had like yeah it was some people freaked out or worried but no one was attacking anybody else and it was amazing and i'm very very grateful for all of you. I couldn't have asked for a better subscriber base. Seriously, you guys are amazing. My second thing to be grateful for is YouTube. Now, I know YouTube's going through its rough spots and here and there, but honestly, at least in the beginning, without YouTube, I wouldn't be where I am. I wouldn't ha I wouldn't have the friends that I have. I wouldn't have you guys. I wouldn't have the passion that I have for video editing. I never thought that would be something I'd do. Like, I'm, I'm going to be an artist. <laughs> and not that this isn't artisting, if that's not a word, but not that this isn't something that's artistic or creative in some way. The, I never thought of it that way. I never thought of it as some sort of art form of entertainment. I never really thought of entertainment as an art form. I never really thought of it as a possible career. And now I actually have that in mind and I have that as something that's possible. And without YouTube, that would never ever have come into my mind, especially this year for YouTube. As much as YouTube's kind of been the algorithm changing all the time has kind of been screwing everything up. I'm still way past the mark I thought I'd be on YouTube for this year. I was, I think at a thousand, no, I was at, I was at a thousand or two thousand. I think it was a thousand though for my three year anniversary. And my next goal was going to be 2,500 because I didn't think I could make it to 5,000. And look at me now. I'm at freaking 6,500 something. I don't even know. I think I'm at 6,600 and it's just infinitely growing. And it's amazing me because I never thought I'd be there. And so honestly, I would not have been able to outreach to so many of you amazing people and have the friends I do if it weren't for YouTube. So I will say I'm very, very grateful for what YouTube has done for me as of right now. Third thing to be grateful for is Twitch. I am actually very grateful for Twitch because it gives me the opportunity to interact with you guys a lot more on a more personal level and one-on-one -on -one is not as often on there, but I, it feels more personal than just a comment because that's recorded in the past. You guys actually get to help me and we get to cooperate and work on the puzzle together or what I'm supposed to do next together. And on top of that, I like Twitch for, I'm grateful for Twitch being a source to not only do that, 
but also then I get to post it for YouTube. So I am posting a little bit more content for you guys and able to get through the games that are way too long to be able to do as an edited, full on edited series. And it's not that they aren't <laughs> anyway, because <laughs> I do edit like Alien Isolation. I did edit the crap out of those episodes. So that way it wasn't just dead airtime. But I still, it did not feel like a burden or, oh, I don't really want to play Alien Isolation because I'm stuck in this area or Alien won't go away. I don't feel that with Twitch because I know you guys are there with me and Twitch gives me that. And I never, ever thought I'd stream much less on Twitch. I, ne I last, at this time last year, I had no idea what Twitch was. I never was on it. And then I think I kind of started understanding Twitch during PAX South, but all of us were like, why is Twitch so popular? What, what's the point of it? And then now we're all using it and we're using it all the time. So I, I have to say, I really do love Twitch and the community it gives for gamers. YouTube's primarily Let's Playing for me, but it's the as a whole, it's not. It is primarily for just people who make videos or music videos or commercials or whatnot. It's for big companies as well. Whereas Twitch is primarily for people who stream video games and art. There is people who do art and there's other stuff as well, but it's way more welcoming to people who are super into video games and you will find people that are into it as well. It's very easy to find someone that you like and that you can watch all the time. It's literally like a TV show. And then you can always go back and watch the archived version of it. Just a really long TV show. So I, I have to say I am very grateful for Twitch in that sense. Uh, my fourth thing to be grateful for is River and Shy Guy, who are on the other side of here. I am super grateful for them. I would not be able to live on my own without them, first of all. Second of all, they always support me, and I'm really grateful for that. Like, the whole wanting to make YouTube a thing without them, like, I would probably feel hopeless. I would probably feel like it's not possible. But they have really tried to push me and allow me my space to be able to do as many recordings as I do on top of my full-time job while they also do what they need to do. Now, I do try to juggle spending time with them on top of it and they've been very patient and I'm very grateful for them for it as they're <laughs> listening to me say this but I that's just unbelievable a lot of people don't get the support that I get and I'm very very grateful for that and I recognize that um because River will help push me to be more reasonable with my objectives or with things I have in mind. He'll make sure that I'm in line with something that's completely feasible. At the same time, Shy Guy will then also push me to not give up and to keep going for what I want to go for because that's what he's doing right now too with his job. So I'm just really grateful for the situation I am in and the people I have around me all the time. I, I love them. And so I'm just happy to always have them around. The fifth thing that I'm grateful for is family. Um, luckily, there hasn't been too much going on with family this year. Um, I mean, there has been some incidences, but nothing too serious when it comes to health. I'm really, really grateful for all my family's health. I am grateful for my mom and dad for always supporting me, um, especially helping out. My mom freaking helped out like no other for the wedding. She help me with anything that I didn't have going on because I just I I had a really I was overwhelmed and I didn't know what to do for some things and she's like I got this and she would just go and do it and yes I would be like you're doing way too much for me but I don't think I would have been able to do it without her and especially for fi some financial things going on like with my phone with uh, needing to get the pictures off of my old phone which I haven't done yet but she did offer to help out if I need it and that means more than enough to me like it just all the support that she has given me this year has been insane, especially through all the hardships she's been going through, which is not my place to say, but I'm just really grateful that she's around and that she's as supportive as she is. And I'm grateful for my dad for always giving me it, the two cents that he has. And as much as I may not agree with some of it, a lot of it is really logical and found in a place of experience. And so I do try to take that into account, too. And I just know that he's really looking out for me. And every time I hear those things, I I know he's just making sure that I'm OK, especially with like YouTube and stuff. As much as it might not be something that he is in support of, it's just because he's looking out for me. It's just because he's worried. And I'm really, really grateful to have someone that's 
worried for me as much as it's like, don't worry about me. I'm really grateful because a lot of people don't have parents that care and I do. So both my parents have really, really helped me this year. Um, I will say like grandparents are freaking amazing. Like I love my grandparents, my aunts and uncles, my cousins, like just everyone really surprised me this year and really, especially like around the wedding time, just my family was amazing. Um, and I love seeing them all. Um, I, there was one incident I realized that was health related. Um, it wasn't my immediate family, but it was my, uh, aunt who's kind of related to me. I don't know. It gets weird in that area, but my aunt's husband's, um, brother passed away, unfortunately. And it was really nice to see all the family there and supporting him. And he had a lot of love coming his way. And I'm just very grateful that everyone else is alive and healthy and okay, because that's what's most important. And I can't wait to see everyone for the holidays because I just really appreciate everyone, especially all that everyone helped out with with the wedding, especially even Shy Guy's family. Like, everyone was just so amazing and generous and very, very patient with us with our weird-ass wedding. It was just, I'm very grateful for all of us, for all of them. Us? I guess family's us, but either way. And I'm really grateful for my sister, who has been really strong this year, and I'm really proud of her for just kicking butt throughout the year and being just a really good person and fighting for what she believes in and being smart because she recognizes what's honesty around her and what's good and what's good people and she likes to surround herself with people that are healthy for her and I'm really proud of her for that because I definitely struggled for that as a kid especially around her age. I definitely had trouble with that. So I'm really, really grateful that she's able to find people that are good for her. Number six, I think, is friends. I am very grateful for my friends, of course. Um, I have friends here and there, we always get in rough spots and stuff, but either way, it's always gonna be okay. And I'm really grateful for that. Um, we just kind of, especially like, me and Snuffles has really been hanging out a lot recently. Um, and I just, I appreciate all that she did with the bridal shower, bridal shower? No, that's not the word. Bachelorette party. That's the word. She was there for me for every step of the way that she could. And she just, she kicked ass. And then my friend Tedder's head kicked ass with a playlist that we ended up only having like five songs or six songs play at the wedding. And like just the two of them together or just a badass team. And I've known them for a very, very long time. And I love them both so much. And the fact that they were both my bridesmaids makes me so, or both my maid of honors makes me so happy and proud. And their speech was beautiful and I just I couldn't ask for better maid of honors and then when it comes to like all of our other friends like all of the bachelorette party and or the bachelorette all of the um, bachelors and is that the word groomsmen that's the word <laughs> groomsmen and bridesmaids everyone kicked ass and was amazing and was really supportive and I'm just really grateful that everyone was there to share in that time with us like, it was amazing to see all of our friends be there, and especially, like, friends we weren't even expecting there. Um, I can't thank everyone, because there's so many, but, like, the people who, like, one of our friends that made the dress, and one of our friends that tried to help plan the wedding, and one of our friend's mothers who took care of the flowers, and that was her wedding gift, and they were beautiful, and the dress was amazingly done, and like all of like the stuff that we wouldn't have been able to do without them we would have had to hire a stranger it, it meant so much more that came from someone that loved us so i'm just really really grateful for my friends and being there and also being for Corey, like Corey's best man being danny <laughs> uh he looked up all surprised um bumblebee as you guys know him as he kicked ass as the best man and was really there for shy guy the entire way and it was just like amazing to see everyone pull together to try and make this happen especially since me and shy guy were so absent <laughs> and they were like 
Weddings happening? What? Um, we have to do stuff. So it was just really amazing to see everyone do that. And on top of that, like the bachelorette party that Snuffles had thrown, like all our mothers were there, which is really cool. Like normally that's not a thing that people are really excited about, but I really was. It was really cool to see all of us and then all of our moms were there. And usually it's always one mom or two moms missing, but no, like everyone was there. And that was really neat because I just, we'd never all been together all at the same time. And even though we'd all known each other for forever, like seriously for forever. So I'm just really, really grateful for all my friends. And then I want to say separately, all my YouTube friends, I'm so grateful for like all the people in robot college who are all supportive of each other. Like they all constantly are making sure that they're okay. And then that we have each other's back. I'm really, really grateful for John and Craven for always being there and being like just the biggest support I could ask for on YouTube always ask answering my questions if I have any we always like look out for each other in that respect and like constantly are like by the way this game exists you should go look at it like stuff like that is just it's really a great help in this community because it's really rare to have. And then newcomers like Dark and Kita playing Don't Starve, like that was a really fun experience. And like, I've now made two great friends and like me and Kita, all the stuff that we did on top of that, like Kita and me bond in a really cool way. And like, if it weren't for, again, YouTube, I wouldn't be able to do this, but Kita is just someone who like I bonded with on a different level than I thought I would and that's something new this year whereas John and Craven those bitches have been around forever but as someone who's new it's cool to have just constant new friends forming on YouTube so and then like I'm grateful for Bowling Otter and Lissy being healthy and happy and having their baby and it's just adorable as fuck and it just makes me super happy so I'm just grateful for everybody. Like, and, and there's so many more YouTube friends I have, but I and I could call them each out, but I just want to say just all of them. I love you all. And like, I'm so grateful for all of them for playing games with me, for even inside recording and outside recording. Like we just have a good friendship and it's not like dirty or behind each other's backs that I know. Of. Um, and I, I just really appreciate that, that we're all pretty real and we all would tell each other if, hey, don't fuck up <laughs> like or hey you fucked up like I really appreciate that so just want to say I'm thankful for that so that is my number six my number seven is the wedding I am super grateful that the wedding has been done and it's over now <laughs> as much as weddings are great they're beautiful I'm only gonna do a giant like this is a big wedding to me I'm only doing it once and I'm never doing it again but I am very grateful with how it turned out as I said everyone was way more supportive about the whole thing than I thought they'd be and I was really grateful for all of the help that we got as I said and I'm really grateful that it just came together it didn't, there were a few times where I was either like anxiety attack, mini micro, just holding it in and trying not to freak out in front of everyone. But that only happened like two, maybe three times and only for all of like a minute. Otherwise it was, it was nice to just have it happening and be done and just out of my control. Like it was pretty much once the wedding started, it was out of my control. So it was really nice. And I'm really grateful for the honeymoon that I had, even though I had a bandaid slapped on my forehead the entire time. And I looked like Nyota from Fooly Cooly. It's fine. I was gonna have a monster escape from my forehead at some point, but pretty much I'm, I, Door County was beautiful. And I'm really grateful that we got the four or five days to get away. And it's just, I'm glad it's done because it's something we don't have to worry about ever again. And I'm really, really grateful for all of the support that everyone gave us, both monetary and just being physically there. Like, honestly, what meant most to me is that everyone was there. It was just amazing to see so many people, especially people that we knew, like, weren't going to be there. Some surprised us and ended up there. And then some people that weren't in the most support still showed up anyway. And that was amazing because it, it, was something that meant a lot to us. So it was really nice to see everyone there. And on both sides, it's not specific people that I'm calling out or anything. There's just a couple of people that I, I know on both sides that just were iffy about the whole thing, but they went anyway and because of us, because they loved us. And that was really, really amazing to see. So I'm grateful for the wedding. I think I'm on number eight. Uh, is my boss. Um, my boss, she's amazing. She's really supported me this whole year and really made sure I'm okay. And I want to, like, I'm just super grateful for her. I'm gr grateful for several people at work. And 
their support too, but I just, she has done way more than normally bosses do. <laughs> and I'm really grateful for her support. Like when I told her that I really wanted to try and push more for YouTube and do more for it and try and live my dream as Shy Guy was doing, she was just fully behind me. Like, yeah, she was uh, disappointed because we have gotten close and I take care of the cats there and I do a lot of work and we play off each other when it comes to graphic design and stuff. And uh, when she's installing, I try to help out as much as I can. But just the fact that she has been so supportive on top of that and didn't like guilt trip me or didn't like basically make me feel bad for my decision made me really grateful. Like, I just, I really appreciate that because it's very rare for that as well, so. Thank you so much. <laughs> like, I just, I, I love all of the love I feel, like, in my work environment. It's, it's so much, to, so contrasting from the year before. And it's great to feel, like, wanted and appreciated. And I just, I'm super grateful. Anyway, so number nine is Baron Tally and Jake. So I am very, very grateful for our pets. Like, Jake is old and 16 and meh, but he is actually really good. He's really good now compared to what he was like living with B Bumblebee and Shy Guy. He would be crabby or he was a lot more problematic. And not that he's not problematic me here, but it's more the problematic issues that he's having here aren't as temperamental. They're more old age. They're more the fact he's he's very old. But he's actually not that old, apparently, because all of my boss's cats are, like, freaking 18 to 22 and still going. So he's probably going <laughs> to... Shy Guy's like, yeah, he's going to live forever. Um, but, like... It, he is going to live forever. <laughs> but he's really sweet now he used to be really really cranky and he's kind of actually turned more into a kind old man instead of a cranky old man so i am really grateful that he has shown more love than crankiness um i am very grateful for my bear because i love him he's amazing and i couldn't have asked for a better cat to come right after the cat that i grew up with that passed away when i was in college he was the next cat I had after that. And it was just, he's, the, as much as he is the spawn of Satan, I love him. <laughs> like he, as much as he might bite me and I, st I still have a scar on my wrist from what I took a picture. These are all from my desk from leaning on it just now, but he bit me like across the wrist and across the palm. But honestly, I knew that was because of either he wasn't feeling good or it was partly in fact that I was trying to apologize to him because he got, I didn't know he was there and I opened the door. Um, but, and he just got kind of bonked in the head. He, not hard, but I guess enough to piss him off. So other than the bites, he's always been there for me. Like when I'm crying my eyes out or when I'm really upset or whatnot, like he stays glued to my side. He won't, He's not much of a petter or a cuddler, but he will stay there. He will, he could be sitting on the cat tree sleeping. He could be up on the desk, but he will lay right next to me or I'll be in the bedroom and he'll lay next to me instead of on something comfy. And that I can tell he's there because of me. And it's not just, oh, he's lazy. No, he usually uh, goes and does his own thing. So when you're upset and he's constantly next to you, it's really obvious. On top of that, when once like I was yelling in the shower and he couldn't get to me, he started meowing and freaking out because he's like, why are you yelling? And so I it like shy guy had, was like, Baron, it's OK. And he just wouldn't stop meowing. So I actually opened the curtain. And I'm like, Baron, I'm OK. And he like came up, sniffed my nose and then walked away and was like, OK, she's fine. And didn't meow again. Like, I'm really grateful that he has gotten so close to me because I couldn't have asked for something more after Chakra and my first cat. So. I am so grateful for my bear. He's my baby. And then I'm really grateful for Tali for being one. So th basically the opposite of <laughs> bear. And he, she can be pet. She can cuddle. She, uh, she's not as much about being held, but she just is really loving and nothing is malicious. Like when she bites, it's not hard. Um, her nails tend to be little needles, but that's more of her getting caught on you or trying to climb up you. Um, but, like, she, when she bites, it's, like, a nice little nibble. It's not, like, bear, and that's, like, a bear trap. Um, so it's really, it's a really nice contrast on top of that. Her and Baron got along splendidly after 24 hours. Like, literally, like, in a 48-hour span, perfect. They just, 
no problems. No more hissing, unless like someone really pisses someone off. But like they just start chasing each other around the apartment and stuff. That is amazing to ask for cats. Cats normally never get along that fast, ever. I've never seen that happen. So the fact that they're just like literally the best of friends now is the weirdest thing to see. But like <laughs> they'll like fight, quote unquote, but it's just like wrestling playful wrestling and she'll be like biting him and he'll just aggressively groom her <laughs> like just lick the crap out of her because he recognizes she's a tiny little thing and he doesn't want to hurt her so i'm really really grateful that they get along well and that she is exactly what we needed to help him to not be aggressive <laughs> so i and ever since he hasn't been aggressive with us unless it's like we're picking him up and he's clearly uncomfortable he's always never been a fan of being picked up but like he used to attack us when we walked by or whatnot because he was bored he wanted to play and now he has a play friend a playmate so i'm really grateful for all the animals in our life the last thing i am grateful for our apartment i'm grateful that i have an amazing apartment to live in as much as it feels like we don't have much space because that's the three of us and there's shit everywhere and my desk takes up literally the dining room and same with same with river because river's on the other side of my monitor and then shy guy is next to our tv with his computer and monitor so like we just it's crowded as fuck and we don't have a dining room table but it's a nice apartment it's actually the biggest that they offer around here so it's like we have a huge apartment we just take up a lot of fucking space as gamers like holy shit so I will say I'm very grateful for it. I'm grateful that it's like just in a in an easy to access place. Like we can walk anywhere. It's really nice, and I appreciate that very much because it just it, the convenience is amazing. And I don't know if we'll ever find it again, even because we're not gonna live here forever. So as of right now, I am very very grateful for the apartment we have. So it's everything that we wanted. It has the view that we wanted, and I'm really really grateful for that. And I know to sum this all up that I am a very, very lucky person, and I am very grateful for that. I recognize that just I got really lucky with a lot of the things I have. And yes, a lot of last year was a hard year with my grandpa passing away and my mom getting in the severe car accident with my stepmom. And it's just like a lot of stuff happened last year that was really scary. And I had to hold off on YouTube a lot. and pause uploads a lot because I was having a really hard time but this year has really oh I just heard her meow <laughs> oh she thinks you have kitten food <laughs> um but I'm just really 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 grateful for the year that has followed because I couldn't have asked for a better year afterward like last year just it, this makes up for it because you guys know, those of you that were here last year, it was a really, really hard year. Really hard. So, thank you guys so much for sticking around. Thank you guys. If you watch to the end of this video, it's really long. But I, I don't think I'm going to be uploading anything else today as well. Um, but on top of that, the next couple days, I, I'm probably only going to have one video because of my holidays as well. And I haven't been able to catch up quite as much as I'd like to, um, to in order to do, do, to do two videos. Um, but I will be trying to just have some games that are more heartfelt, more about family. Like, I know probably tomorrow is one when I'll upload one about family, and then Saturday and Sunday I'll probably have some more light ones and not so hard-hitting things. There will be a, a scary game or two, but yeah, I just, I want to... Give the holidays, give myself a break by only having two or three days where I have one video instead of two because I, I need a break too. And one video is still a lot a day. <laughs> and I need to remember that. And I need to remember just to be grateful for everything that you guys have given me and that I've gotten and that I am enjoying. So thank you guys. And thank you to everything that I had said thank you for. Thank you for all the things I may have forgotten to point out or address in any way. Because I'm sure there's a shit ton of stuff that I'm grateful for. Like breathing, like food, like stuff like that. But I just wanted to try and get the umbrella that I could. Thank you. And again, let me know in the comments what you guys are grateful for. Because I always think it's a good practice. Whether or not you celebrate Thanksgiving. Whether or not you care about Thanksgiving. Or whether or not it's in your country. Just... 
remember to always be grateful for everything that you have even if it's really hard to find the grateful things you can be thankful for breathing i'd hope you can be thankful for your health you can be thankful for the fact that you can draw you can sing you can dance you can move you can walk from one place to another or not you can be grateful that you have some sort of talent in whatever hobby that you take part in video games i know a lot of us are into video games so you can be grateful for the video games you do have let me know what you guys are grateful for but happy thanksgiving everyone or happy turkey day or just happy thankful day and i will see you guys in the next game that i play or the next vlogger winning wednesday or whatever it is you guys watch so keep winning guys Bye.